Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm here with our second reading out of Hebrews. As you might have seen in my last video, I am choosing to not do Christian-based teaching videos right now. I feel like I have a lot more to learn before I should keep teaching anything to other people, but I've decided that instead of teaching, I'm going to just read to you guys because I know for me, sometimes I just need someone to read with me or else I won't force myself to read because we should be reading our Bible every day. It's important to keep learning about what we say we believe. I am a strong fan of knowing what you say you know, <laughs> but we're going to read Hebrews 2 today, and it shouldn't be a very long video, but let's go ahead and get started. Hebrews chapter 2, Warning Against Neglecting Salvation. Therefore, we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. For since the message declared by angels proved to be reliable, and every transgression or disobedience received a just retribution, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard. While God has bore witness by signs and wonders and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. This is section two, the founder of salvation. For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come of which we are speaking. It has been testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. Now, in putting everything in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control. At present, we do not yet see everything in subjection to him, but we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, would make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. For he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one source. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers saying, I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will sing your praise. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children God has given me. Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same thing, that though death, that through death, he might destroy the one who has the power of death that is, the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. For surely it is not angels that he helps, but he helps the offspring of Abraham. Therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Okay, that is it for this video. That was all. It was Hebrews 2, and in the next video, I will be reading Hebrews 3. And I encourage you to study Ver I mean, not verse, to study chapter two a little deeper on your own and maybe pray on it if there's something that you don't understand. If there's words like propitiation, is that how I propitiation, propitiation, that is a big word. And honestly, I had to look it up. So 
don't be scared to look up words. It's better to look it up and learn it and admit that you didn't know it than to just act like, oh, well, I know that and not actually know it. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our little reading together and I'll see you all next time. Bye.